trained lie spotters get to the truth 90% of the time. The rest of us were only 54% accurate. Why is it so easy to learn? Well, they're good liars and they're bad liars. They're no real original liars. We all make the same mistakes. We all use the same techniques. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two patterns of deception and then we're gonna look at the hot spots and see if we can find them ourselves. We're gonna start with speech. I want you to listen to me. I'm gonna say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. These allegations are false and I need to go back to work for the American people. Thank you. Okay, what were the telltale signs? Well, first we heard what's known as a non-contracted denial. Studies show that people who are overdetermined in their denial will resort to formal rather than informal language. We also heard distancing language, that woman. We know that liars will unconsciously distance themselves from their subject using language I, as their tool. I did not kill my friend. I did not wield a knife. I had no reason to. I, now, if Bill I Clinton had said, well, to tell you the truth, or Richard Nixon's favorite, in all candor, he would have been a dead giveaway for any lie spotter that knows that qualifying language, as it's called, qualifying language like that, further discredits the subject. I look at it as an admission of innocence, to be quite honest, because... Why do you think that this judge goes further than any other? That not only does he say this is the knife, not only does he say that you had it because of DNA around the bottom of the blade and the hilt, but that he believes you are the one who actually killed Meredith Kircher. I believe, I mean, I can't speculate what this judge's motivations are, personal motivations or otherwise. What I can say is that- Freud had it right. Freud said, look, there's much more to it than speech. No mortal body can language. keep a secret. With body language, here's what you got to do. You really got to just throw your assumptions out the door. Let the science temper your knowledge a little bit. Because we think liars fidget all the time. Well, guess what? They're known to freeze their upper we bodies think when they're lying. Liars won't look in the eyes. Well, guess what? They look you in the eyes a little too much just to compensate yep, for that minute. Did you kill Meredith Kircher? No. Were you there that night? No. Do you know anything you have not told police? that you have not said in this book? Do you know anything? No, I don't. Ask a deceptive person to tell their story. They're gonna pepper it with way too much detail in all kinds of irrelevant places. I, I was, in the month that we were living together, we were becoming friends. A week before the murder occurred, we went out to a classical music concert together. And then together. they're gonna like, tell their story in strict chronological order. And what a trained interrogator does is they come in and in very subtle ways, in, over the course of several hours, they will ask that person to tell their story backwards. And then they'll watch them squirm and track which questions produce the highest volume of deceptive tells. Why do they do that? Well, we all do the same thing. We rehearse our words, but we rarely rehearse our gestures. We say yes, we shake our heads no. No. Were you there that night? No. Do you know we tell very convincing stories, we slightly shrug our shoulders. We commit terrible crimes and we smile at the delight in getting away with it. Now that smile is known in the trade you as duping delight. Actually killed Meredith Kircher. here. But there's one I can teach you that's very dangerous and that's easy to learn. And that's the expression of contempt. Now with anger, you've got two people on an even playing field. It's still somewhat of a healthy relationship. But when anger turns to contempt, you've been dismissed. It's associated with moral superiority. And for that reason, it's very, very hard to recover from. Here's what it looks like. It's marked by one lip corner pulled up and in. It's the only asymmetrical expression. And in the presence of contempt, whether or not deception follows, and it doesn't always follow, look the other way, go the other direction, reconsider the deal, say, no, thank you, I'm not coming up for just one more yep, nightcap. Sure. Did you kill Meredith Kircher?
will not go back there. There are going to be some people who look at that decision and say it's a sign of guilt. She's got something to hide and she doesn't want to stand trial. I'm going to keep up with this trial. Is there some sort of a closed circuit feed that you'll be able to see each day? You're going to be going to school, so your time is an issue. Are you going to